Assalamu alaikum friends. After the basics of JavaScript in Google Earth Engine, now we will explore the DEM data that is available in Google Earth Engine and we will see that how can we visualize and utilize this data set directly from cloud. So for this, let's create another script file in repository and go to new and then file and select your repository from over here. Now this is practice 2 and hit OK and select your practice 2 from over here now this script is available in your code editor so there are a lot of sensors available in google earth engine that provide the dem data set and if you want to know the basics and basic processing of dem data set then you can click on top right corner so if i will search any sensor like hello pulsar then this data set is also available and the most common one is srdm and we will do our practice on this srdm data version 4 just hit enter and this button will direct you to the earth engine data catalog and here you can see the data availability of this sensor and the bands detail there is only one band available in this collection its unit is in meter and these are the details and the descriptions and you can simply copy and paste this dummy code from over here and just click control enter then you can see that the slope analysis and its visualization on map layer is available because in this code they firstly import the srdm data set and then they select the band of elevation and then they do a slope analysis and then they simply show this on map layer so we will make our own code for visualization and we will see that how can we export that image for our other software like rjs or qgi okay so first of all let's store this collection into a variable just copy this snippet and then create a variable name srtm and this is is equal to this collection so we just store whole collection into a variable name srtm okay so now in this variable we have the whole collection of srtm and if i will use print function and in this print function i can write srtm and hit control enter then whole detail is also available in our console but how can i visualize this data set into my map layer so for this there is a function known as add layer map dot add layer this is the function just select this function and you can see that this function can take five arguments so just simply copy this function and first of all let's understand that what is the first argument okay so first argument is about ee object ee object is actually our imagery what we want to visualize on this map layer so in this case we simply want to visualize our srdm data set into our map layer so map dot add layer this function will add this layer this collection layer into our map and just hit control enter and now you can see that whole collection is now available whole data set of the world is now available in our map and now we will see that what is the second argument that is which para we can add visual parameters to enhance the uh, visual interpretation of this data set so we can simply add a comma and then in curly brackets we can add the min and max value so minimum value on this earth can be uh, zero zero meter and maximum height is the height of uh, mount everest that is 8000 something 8806 so we can simply take 8000 and at the end semicolon and just hit control enter now you can see that the we just enhance the visual interpretation of this data set we can also add palette or symbology to this layer like after another comma we can add palette and in this palette we can add a list of colors like the low lower elevation values should be with the blue and then green red and now if i will hit control enter then you will see that we just add a symbology to our layer just like this then you can simply turn this layer off and on from my head now what is the third argument that is name we can define a name for our layer like here in layer the name of this srtm data set is layer one we can simply add another name in uh, srtm and hit control enter then this argument will actually change the layer name and this shown argument is actually accept the boolean you want to show this layer in this map layer or not you can simply after srtm after comma you can say true or false and if i will go with false 
then on control enter this false will not add this layer into this map and if i will go with true then this will add this layer on my map and opacity is actually the transparency of this layer and you can simply handle this opacity from it just like that. okay so now if i will use this inspector tool and i will click on blue color then it will give me actually the pixel value the elevation value of this area and if i will hit uh, the click on white color then the elevation value will be higher just like this now let's suppose that you have an area of interest and you want to clip this whole layer with that area of interest and you want to export this imagery for your rgs or qgs project so for this let's create a area of interest just turn this off from our head and then create a rectangular in northern region of pakistan and just create a polygon just like this you can hide your polygon from here but still available in my code editor with and stored in a variable named geometry you can change the uh, the name of this variable like aoi area of interest and now if i will hit control enter then still it will give me the same layer it will give me the same layer. if i will add map dot add layer and that ay then this will also show me that polygon just like this and there is a function that is known as map god object center object just use this function copy this function and paste it over here and remove these two last arguments and in this object write your aoi so this function will zoom your layer toward your area of interest just hit control enter just like this now we want to clip this whole srt imagery with our this area of interest so for this we can simply use a function name as clip so create a variable name aoi underscore srtm is equal to your srtm layer you want to clip your ai from your srtm layer so first of all you will add your main layer and then dot and then function clip and in this clip function you will mention your area of interest and just simply replace this variable with this srtm so now you can see that we can perfectly visualize our area of interest like this so the lower values are actually with blue color okay so now if we want to export our this srdm layer into our local computer or google drive then we can simply use a function that is known as export so here there are uh, many export function but we will use export image to drive so this function will store this image into our google drive just copy this whole function and you can see that this function can take a lot of arguments okay after pasting this whole function you can add curly bracket in the start of this and in the end of this now we will only fill those argument that are required to export the imagery into your google drive so for this first of all which image you want to store so you want to export this image aos rtm and then what is the description of your data set so this dis description will, will be a string aoi ka srdm and then folder skip this one skip all these arguments and then region region is actually your aoi and then scale scale will define that on which spatial resolution you want to export your imagery and in this i will simply go with 90 meter and then crs so if you will not select crs then the default crs will be wgs 1984 and what is the maximum pixels so you can also add maximum pixels uh, this value like 1 e13 and then we don't need to fill all these arguments remove these argument 
and at the end a semicolon just like this and now if i will hit control enter then in this task window my imagery is available i can simply click the run button and here you can see that no spaces spaces are not allowed in description so you can manage this from over here you can also add underscore and then you can also again modify your coordinate system and from over here you can assign a folder of your google drive and if you will not add any folder then this will randomly store this image into your google drive so then this will create a folder of ge in your google drive and store this image into this folder just hit run and the file format will be geotip okay so when it's done it will give you a sign just like this that image is stored into your google drive you can simply drop this down this button will direct you toward your google drive here this is the image that we recently export into our drive from google earth engine just select this image and download okay so this is the damn data set that we export from google earth engine and if i will drag and drop it over here then you can see and you can also add symbology just like this okay that's all for today and see you in next tutorial Many thanks, take care a lot.